guys, it's Psycho Constantino, and welcome back to my channel if you're new, and welcome to the vlog. So, I just finished my manuscript today. I wrote like five poems, and it's not even 11 yet. Let me see. Yeah, it's not even 11 yet. And yeah, so I'll be sending that tomorrow at noon. Pacific Standard Time, and yeah, I'm telling you guys because I love this collection, and this collection is about growing up. There's some love poems in there, and it talks about my life. So, like, I'm basically doing poetic life thing in the poems. <laughs> I showed Patreon this last week and I'm gonna show with you guys now since I put it on hidden for a bit for a few days and I thought no one would want it so it's been hidden so yeah I'm going to show you guys it. It's one of my proudest work, proudest recreations, proudest styling. Here it is. Of course, the blonde hair is um, inspired by Rihanna. Somebody made it. The glasses on her head is by somebody else. The jacket is by somebody else. It's layerable. And the shoes by somebody else. The necklace by IMVU. The top is a texture by somebody else, but I recolored it and added Harvard. The top and the jeans is a recolor by me. So, yeah. The inspo is... Hang on, let me show my face on camera. The inspo for that outfit is um, Legally Blonde, the musical. And the outfit from um, Harvard Variations. But in the pro shot, there's a hat. And Emmett says, wear a hat. Instead of fixing your hair. So I decided to take off the hat and put it in glasses. Which is the tour version of the outfit. And yeah. That gave the audience feelings they weren't sure they should enjoy, but they do. Make the greatest show on earth. Good morning. So, my iPad. I put it on the pillow so it sleeps. So I'm watching um Raven's Home right now. I love that so Raven is a kid, so this is an upgrade. <laughs> yep. So I'm making um other Ivy League 
a wood spider shirt <laughs> since that's all I can make right now since I don't have blender to do my own stuff so this is inspired by the book which is different than the movie or the musical so I'm doing other schools as well they in the movie they mentioned Yale, so I did that as well. So we need three more of the pink tank. Inspired by Woods. And of course, if you read the book, you'll recognize that it's set in Stanford. And in the movie, they did mention Yale. And there's the cheaper Ivy League version of it called Brown University. So yeah, those are the three new tanks. Love you, Dylan. Love you, Dylan. This is a rare occasion, sunbathing, so rare, we love you Dylan, now he's napping, okay, oops, oops, enjoy, Dylan, wow, I zoomed in on you. He's just staring at me. Okay. Dylan, come here. Dylan, over here. Hi. So, <laughs> I didn't realize you could see me on my iPad, but you've seen this outfit before. It's from the musical. Of course, I said before that I made the Harvard version, which is the actual college that Elle goes to in the musical and the film. So I'm going to show you guys the other shirts that I made. I give you guys clips of it here. So here's this. Oh my gosh. Okay, much better. So here's the Stanford version. It says Stanford and it's in pink. Could The pink could be lighter, but it shows us lilac. This one's the Yale version where Warner's brother goes. So L and Warner's brother dated, it would be Yale. And here's the brown version. Brown is also Ivy League, so I had to do it. I know there are other schools, but this is primarily the schools that I know. And the three that I made, Yale, Stanford, and Harvard is the one from Legally Blonde and it's canon. So I know I said I'm going to be reading in a vlog, but let me show my face on camera. I'm watching this. So I did say I'm going to be reading in a vlog and talking about it, but I haven't really gotten around to reading that much since I was writing my poetry memoir and a lot of it is basically comparison and the comparison between a white woman and an Asian woman stereotypically Anne Boleyn and 
as well. So this is the book that I'm going to be reading. And it's Legally Blonde by Amanda Brown, which has, which is the original Legally Blonde. And I got this after watching the pro shot of Legally Blonde the musical with Miss Laura Bell Bundy. And I love the musical so much. As well as the movie. The second one is cute. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, I want to read to you guys the first part. It's not in the book. It's more like a dedication. Um, kind of stuff in the book. So says, Amanda Brown based Legal Bound on her experiences as a law student at Stanford. The novel has since been made into a successful, highly successful film starring Reese Witherspoon. I love that film. So, yeah. It's based on Stanford. So, I had had canons of like, Elle's cousins like Izzy and Annie Woods. Oh my gosh. One of them went to, goes to Stanford and the other goes to Harvard. I was like, that's how you tell them apart. So that's a headcanon that I had um, in college while basing my whole entire um, mantra on I need no backups and the reason why I love film is because of this movie and other movies as well reading now and oh my gosh they mentioned the angle. The quote says, um, and does this seem to remind you? Blah, let me start again. And doesn't this remind you of when we took Edward Dukes shot and then Yale? Question mark? Oh my god. Probably why they said um, Warner's brother went to Yale or something, just to add a little nod to the book. <laughs> In college, I made this character up called um, Melanie Mercado. And Melanie Mercado is a private investigator and she's inspired by Elle Woods. Number one, of course, there's a character that I derived and gave the name Gabrielle because it's my cousin's name and, of course, the last name Woods because I Woods, but then I realized I don't need that character probably it's because she, she basically does nothing to the story and It's now, but back then I was like, uh, I have to give a nod to Elwood somehow in the script, and I did, and that's Gabrielle Woods. Um, who is a detective by the way, so yeah, and the script they talked about discrimination. And talks about discrimination in the workforce, mainly, and talks about sexism between male and female, and the fact that sexism sees no color. 
I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I know I said so much in this vlog and showed you guys my IMVU creations and showed you guys my dog and showed you guys a book that I'm currently reading and yeah. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay classy. Bye. I mean, ciao. Mm-hmm. <laughs>